Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have very interesting, I would say like quick tricky in the same way, this is a relaxing question from a math test, you can easily see this question in the middle of the screen here, we have 16 plus 16 divided by 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator right now, write your solution down into the comment section, what do you think is a correct answer to this question, we have right here option A, option B, option C, so you can easily check your answer with these three options. So it's it's really great. So right now, pause the video and write your solution down into the comment section. So a lot of students may be saying, okay, right here we have 16 plus 16 divided by 2. Let's go, for example, from left to right. And as a result, right here we have 16 plus 16 equal to 32. And we still have this division on the right side. We have 32 divided by 2. We have 16. So a lot of students might be thinking maybe 16 is a correct answer. We have this. This is option A. We have right here this option and everything is great. But the main question, right here we solve this question absolutely randomly. We just do whatever we want. We just want to add it first. We add it. For example, if we divide it first, we have absolutely different answer. And you know, this is very important thing in terms of math because when we have a complicated expression with a lot of really interesting things like addition, subtraction, maybe multiplication sometimes, maybe division sometimes, maybe parentheses, maybe inner parentheses sometimes, or maybe powers like 2 to the power 5, you know, we need to order all of this stuff. In our question, I agree, we have only addition and we have only division, so it's not that hard like to order all of this stuff in terms of like math, math laws, math properties. But whenever, whenever we have expression with all the things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and a lot of the thing. We need to order this according to a correct order of operation, correct algorithm, correct, correct principles. And right now I'm going to show you the thing which is called order of operation, which help us to order all of this stuff. So right now let's look at this thing. Okay, here's our question on the left side. And then after learning a little bit about this PEMDAS order of operation, we can apply this PEMDAS to our question. And then we will say like 100% with 100% probability, what is the correct answer and what is the correct option. So here you can see our order of operation. Uh, this order of operation is called PEMDAS order of operation, but you know, maybe you know a little bit about this order of operation, which is called Bodmas order of operation. And everything is great, it's just depending on what country you live in, but the meaning is absolutely the same. Order of operation for brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction is absolutely the same for both order of operation. This order of operation is mainly used in, in uh, India, in the UK, this one is in Europe, Canada, or in other, in other European countries, so everything is great. But I'm going to use PEMDAS because the meaning is absolutely the same, and I prefer this one. Okay, good. So right now let's look closely about this PEMDAS order of operation. This is not an English word, this is like a quick checklist, okay? Each of these letters stands for something. So for example, letter P stands for parentheses. We are talking about this type of brackets, maybe this type of brackets, according to PEMDAS, people use this type of brackets a lot, maybe this type of squiggly brackets, you know, it's just depending on what country you live in. And it basically we're talking about group and symbols. So we're talking about group and symbols and everything is great. And right now let's scan, of course, don't forget about our question because we need to solve it. And right now let's scan where do we have group and symbols in our question. Maybe we have parentheses. Let's look at it. I don't see any of those, we don't have parentheses, so we can easily skip this part. For example, if we have parentheses right here, well, we need to uh, add uh, 16 plus 16, which is equal to 32. Or when we have parentheses right here, we need to evaluate it 16 divided by 2, which is equal to which is equal to 8. Okay, so I'm talking about parentheses, we don't have it, so everything, everything is absolutely great. So after parentheses, we go to the next step. The next step is E, E stands for exponents. So don't be confused, don't be scared about this. Exponents, we're talking about powers, so don't be scared about it. We're talking about, for example, 2 to the power 2, like 5 to the power 5, like 10 to the power 3. So we're talking about the thing which is called powers. And right now, mm, we need to find a power. So basically right here we have all the time the first power. So according to M math laws, we have it, but we we used to, we don't need like to write it because 2 to the first equal to 2, 16 to the first equal to 16. But when we have, for example, 2 square, well, after parentheses part, we need to evaluate it, this 2 to the power, to the power 2. Let's scan a question. Why do we have exponents? As I said before, we, we're going to uh, skip this part, we're going to cancel this part, because we don't have powers. Right here we don't have it, we don't have cubes, we don't have force power, we don't have any of those, so we can actually 
skip this part. Everything is great right now, let's move forward to the next step. The next step and uh, why, I, why I do this from left side to right side, because on the left side we have elements with the higher priority. And right here we have this priority, extremely important part in terms of mass, so it it's not mean that we go from, from right to left, we go from, from left to right step by step, and in our case the first step is to evaluate the expression from left side, and then step by step we go closer and closer to our to our right side, and right now, okay, let's go to the second, uh, to the third letter in this in this list. So we have right here M stands for multiplication, and of, a lot of students may be thinking that multiplication first, division second, because D stands for division and D is after M. But multiplication, division, this is one common group. Of course, we don't have this mixture of multiplication and division in our question, but I'm going to say a few words about it. For example, we have mixture of multiplication two times two divided by three. So a lot of students might be thinking, okay, multiplication first, so we need to multiply it first. This is a great, a correct approach, we have 4 divided by 3, but whenever we have expression with division first, so for example, 4 divided by 2 and times 3, okay, something like that, we need to divide it first, because this is the first sign which comes from, from, from left to right, so as a result right here we have 2 times 3, okay, and it's extremely important part, of course we don't have another question, a mixture of multiplication and division, but if you have it, you can easily look at this, uh, look at this approach, how can we solve it from left to right side and this one the first sign from left and this one the first sign from from left side and of course we we do that because multiplication and division are tied for priority or importance, okay? So right now, okay, don't forget about our question. Let's scan our question. Where do we have multiplication signs? Where do we have division signs? Let's scan where do we have it. So addition, yeah, we have right here division signs. So this is really great, but how can we apply this sign? Do we need like to add 16 plus 16 and then we divide it by 2, something like that, or maybe another order, so something like that, we need to divide it. Okay, we need to look at our left number on the left side and our right number number on the right side. So it means that we need to perform this division only to this 16 divided by by 2. And let me just erase this stuff on the top. So uh, basically we need to do division. So we have it. Let me change my pen real quick to the green one. So right here we need to underline. Okay, we have we have this division, we don't have multiplication, so we're gonna cancel it. So the first sign, we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponents, we don't have multiplication, we have only division is our first step from left to right. So right now we need to evaluate this expression in a strict order from left to right. And of course division comes first from left to right, so as a result we have 16 plus, and I'm going to underline it, I don't want to divide it right now, I'm going to underline it, so I'm going to put imaginary brackets, so these imaginary brackets is also great to do um, in your head, this is not like, uh, I'm not recommend you to do this on your, on your paper, on your exam, but do this in your head, only this like imaginary bracket that you need to divide 16 divided by 2 at first, so as a result what do we have, we have 16, plus 16 divided by 2 equal to 8. So as you can see, we complete this division part. We complete this easily without without any problems, okay? So we can easily say that we complete this division part. Okay, and in the end, what do we have? We have A and S. It means A stands for addition, S stands for for subtraction. And to be honest, at this point, like 99% of students like don't need this order of operation. For example, we have this basic addition. So it's really weird to write PEMDAS on the bottom and to evaluate this expression uh, according to PEMDAS because 16 plus 8, everyone knows that this is equal to 24. Okay, this is equal to uh, 24. And of course, we, we have this addition. So if you wanted to complete this and we don't have, we don't have subtraction. So among these all letters, a parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, we have only D, division, and we have A, subtraction. And if you look closely on this order, if you're talking about left to right uh, priority order, we're talking about D, which comes first from left to right. So just look at it. So every time you have this numerical expression, write this PEMDAS order of operation and scan what elements do we have. In a lot of percentage of cases, we don't have parentheses exponent. We, in a basic one, we have only we have only multiplication, division, or let's write exactly our case, don't forget about it, we have only division, and we have only addition, so which comes first from left to right? Of course, division, so we need to divide, and then we need to add, so division first, and after that we have we have addition, but if we want to say, like basically, if we want to generally say how can we evaluate it, in a lot, in 99% of cases, we need to perform uh, multiplication division first, and then after this group, we need to perform addition and 
and subtraction case. Okay, so addition, subtraction, and then multiplication, division is our is our first step. And right now, let's look closely in the beginning. So as I said before, correct answer is 24. Let's look closely in the beginning. What do we have? It right here we have the really really tricky approach because we wrote it in the beginning. Yeah, we we have this approach and we we we. we was pretty sure that uh, correct answer is 16, okay? And right now, let's look closely. I'm gonna erase this stuff right here. And right now, let's try to figure out why 16 is wrong answer. It looks like this is a correct answer, but this is absolutely wrong answer. A lot of students might be thinking, okay, maybe we need to go in a strict order from left to right. But as I said before, we need, we can't do addition before, before division. So this is like a variation to this question. So we have 16 plus 16 divided by 2. If you wanna to add 16 plus 16 at first, you need to put parentheses right here. So with parentheses, we have 16 plus 16 equal to 32. This is our first step because according to every order of operation, like PANDAS order of operation, uh, BODMAS order of operation, for example, BODMAS order of operation, every time uh, parentheses or brackets is in the first position. So then after seeing this thing, we can easily say that 16 plus 16 is our first step. And then division by two, we have as a result we get from here, we have 16. So 16 is a correct answer with parentheses. This is like a special case. A lot of students might be thinking 16 is a correct answer. Well, if 16 is a correct answer, you need to review a little bit your basic math because this is a very wrong, uh, wrong approach. Addition is all the time after division. So multiplication division mixture is all the time before addition and subtraction. They think first, they think they think second. And of course, a lot of students might be thinking 16 is a correct answer, 16 is a correct, of course, but with parentheses right here. So don't forget about it. What about this 32? There is no way right here 32 is a correct answer. So you need to review a little bit your basic math when you choose this 32 as a correct answer. And of course, our last hope for factorial. Let's remember this from school. Maybe someone know from school for factorial. Because as I said before, correct answer is 24. This is 100% uh, correct answer. But right now I'm talking about option. Okay, so right here, let's look at it. Where do we have this option? We don't have 24. And a lot of students might be confused. We don't have 24. So maybe 16, maybe 32 is a correct answer. But our last hope for factorial. Let's remember from school. For factorial, this is a product from 1 to 4. Okay, so 1 times 2 times 3 and times 4. As a result, what do we have? Uh, we have 1 times uh, 2, we have 2, 2 times 3, we have 6, 6 times 4, we have 24. So as you can see, according to this tricky test, correct answer in our question, this is 24. So you can easily be proud of yourself that you solved this question absolutely, absolutely correct. This is like a tricky moment, so don't forget about it, don't forget about factorial, because, for example, you solve this question and you say correct answer is... <laughs> 24, but you you don't think you, you can't physically see this option right here among this uh, among this letter among these options. So a lot of students might be thinking maybe 16 is a correct answer because 16 plus 16 is 32. 32 divided by 2 equal to 16. 16 is a correct answer with parentheses. So don't be confused about it. And 100% correct answer to our question is uh, to our problem to our math problem is of course 24. To our test, correct answer is is for. Uh, for factorial and you know a few hints to this question because a lot of students might be thinking okay let's test right now in our calculator this question let's plug in this question and you know sometimes happen that we have our question yeah 16 plus 16 but you know sometimes happen that uh, those type of calculators work this problem as you type it in so for example you plug in 16 plus 16 and the calculator say okay me so right here we have we have 32 but you know try to plug in the whole question from left to right when you plug in the whole question 16 plus 16 divided by 2 then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation uh, because they calculator uh, this type of calculator see okay right here we have 16 I have plus I have addition division and you know uh, calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation and 100% of uh, calculators say okay right here we go we have 24 but try to plug in the whole question from left to right because when you plug in 16 plus 16 at first calculator say okay right here mister I have 32 and then you will end up with this division by two then we have we have of course of course 16 but this is a wrong wrong order so it's not the best thing like to type this type of question on a calculator in this way because the calculator is smart enough to know about order operation but you need to plug in the whole question from left right and when you plug in this from left to right side this is not 16 right here at this 
at this point. And as I said before, when 16 is a correct answer with parentheses right here, according to this, according to this order of operation. So a great question, relaxing question. I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of questions on my on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of challenges. I have a lot of really interesting uh, questions, like more than 300 videos with really interesting basic math questions. So you can easily like just look at it. You can easily solve it with me. If you don't need this explanation, you can easily um, you can easily look at this uh, solution. You can easily look at this uh, correct answer. So it's really great to to improve our knowledge, to improve our algebra skills, to improve our maybe someone prepare for the exam maybe someone um, like it's uh, 30 years old 40 50 like you want to spend this time like to solve this question quickly to check our answer it's really great i hope i really hope you enjoy this type of content it's really kind of you when you leave your respond when you leave your 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 answer down into the comment section it's really great to exchange information it's not higher mathematics it's not like a type of question where we have like where we have like a fraction i don't have enough space right here but i hope you get the point okay so this is not the type of question where we have like a mm, like powers where we have like derivatives where we have mm, where we have like integral where we have like uh, matrix uh, this matrix this is not that type of question so i'm not talking about this i'm talking about basic mass questions so this that's uh, what my channel is about and i have this question on my youtube channel so i really hope you enjoy it so wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself also write your notes write your response down into the comment section it's really interesting to read about your your answer your approach it's also really great so wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day see you in the next videos